And that's this really amazing paradox that we want luxury brands to, in some ways, conform to a language, yet also be completely different by themselves. Often saying less kind of adds to that allure and kind of um, mystery that kind of makes you feel more sort of luxury and premium and a lifestyle that people want to enter into. We've moved more from this enriched and surprising delight to edutainment, which seems to be the new word where we need to create content that both enriches and educates as well as entertains. Now, if you are a luxury brand, it's it, you will have values as we all do. And uh, our values are associated with mental health as well as art, the artisan craftsmanship. And these are the talking points that we um, communicate on regularly, as well as 50 years of heritage. And things that it's a paradigm shift right now, what's going on. And I think anything that was conventional in the past is not gonna be necessarily applicable going forward. Reach is certainly not a metric that we should be focusing on. And increasingly, uh, Facebook, you know, are, are trialing the hiding of likes. And we expect, therefore, measurement to be a con an evolving piece. And influencer marketing has an added benefit over some of the other advertising channels by its, through its immediacy, through being fleet of foot, through being relatable, and, you know, in comparative with other channels, being, being cheap. Having that trust with your followers just makes all the world a difference and you know that if they trust you they're going to then buy the products. More and more we're creating experiences around the brand where you have a moment that could be an IGTV, a moment that can be a live, a moment that can be a shop. From a personal perspective I just wanted to say that in the newsroom it feels like we're really at a crossroads in terms of how we tell the stories that matter to our audience. They're so diverse, there are millions of them around the world and they all have different needs and expectations. You know, brands need to start thinking about not just their justification, about what they are and what they represent and why they should exist. Um, and, you know, for many great brands, how great they are, but fundamentally they've got to start thinking um, about what matters more to their consumer. I think absolutely they can they can jump in, but I think fundamentally it, it begins with listening to the consumer much more than it ever did before. There's a great um, anecdote that I always think about when trying to kind of grow businesses digitally, which is if you go to a dinner party and only talk about yourself, you don't make any friends. What was interesting around Black Lives Matter is that there were quite a few missteps, either sort of carelessly or, or, or well-intentioned. And I think with a subject matter as important, fundamentally important and as sensitive as that, you have to start by looking inside at your own organisation. Harrods is, uh, it's not just a store or a website, it's, it's a landmark. Um, and bringing that to life is, is across multiple channels is very, very uh, complicated.